Hi there, my name's Elaine and uh, I thought I'd show you a shopping haul from a stamping show called Stamparama that I went to last weekend. thought you might like to see all the goodies I bought. I'm going to start with um, a new apron I bought, Paper Artsy Apron, it's rather, rather colourful. So that would be nice, getting that all dirty. Some lovely images on it from their stamps, I think. There they are. Uh, some embossing folders. Uh, for embossing. Some nice journal stuff I think I'm going to use. Brocade, that one's called. This one is a nice... Um, clock type image with flowers on it sort of a bit steampunky and this one's got roses all over it that's those some stencils all and create and paper artsy uh, stencil by scrap cozy she created the stencil uh, here are some really big 12x12 Crafters Workshop stencils. As you can see, I've got them for £5. And they are for my jelly plate printing. This one's called Brocade. Uh, flames. Chicken wire. Uh, corn cob etching, I think that one's called, and nice word one. Got a little one like that, I think, as well. So this is a watercolor edition of some steampunk images created by uh, Sandra Rushton on watercolour paper some one has the written words on it and one doesn't that I can use my Arteza new Arteza brush pens that I got for Christmas is why I bought it one super dragon I love dragons I do I do various uh, Lovely images to paint. And an owl, of course, which I love owls too. Then I have Distress Glaze and Texture Paste, Copper Crackle, uh, some clear gesso, which I didn't have any. Heavy gesso. I'd like to uh, create some assemblage pieces. I was watching uh, Marta, Marama Small Art, recently. She was using some of that. And these are all my fresco paints from Paper Artsy. So. Ooh. Sherbet, chalk, sea glass, rose, buff, cerise, glacier ice, mermaid, and butternut. I've already got a few of those, so I added those to my. Oops. One spill over. Oh, uh, I forgot the glazes. I bought some satin glaze, metallic glaze and pearl glaze that go from the same range, fresco paints. And I also bought some Distress Oxides ink re-inkers. But obviously you can use them as the ink. Broken China, pink raspberry, 
squeeze lemonade, wilted violet, and peacock feathers. And some infusions. These are a bit like brushos with uh, the addition of a brown crystal which gives them the vintagey feel and they're basically paint powders crystals in five different colors violet storms slate blue or slate blue violetta rusty car and magenta so that's all the paints Out the way. I bought a few Christmassy stamps on wooden blocks. They were reduced for the show. So, yeah, nice little stamps. And here are offers. Ooh, I'll pick them up. Yes. I did go a bit mad when it came to the stamps. Let me just move those over a bit. Anyway. Oh, hobby art. I bought quite a few from there because they were nature ones. Some nice poppies. Lovely dragonflies. Squirrel, squirrel, uh, badger, and some a nice owl. It's a nice um, various plants on them. A nice biddy, looks like a sparrow or something like that. Dandelions, I do like the dandelions. Uh, Here's some paper artsy ones that are of oriental range uh, by Lynn Pirelli, Pirella. And I bought all three that she had because I don't have anything like this. And I do love oriental things. And I'm hoping to make an oriental journal at some point. So they'll be handy for that. Some grunge stamps. From Studio Light. Uh, this one is no name on it. But it's quite nice. And all and create A4 stamps with fantastic ladybird on it. I love these. They they were a little bit expensive. But I think what I might do is stamp them onto tissue and then I can use them in collages and things like that and a stamp block so I can use them I don't have one bigger so, I think that's my haul for this time hope you enjoyed that and see you again soon bye for now